I'm making one of my favorite meals ever today. It's a cheese dip that you pour over Fritos, or you can use some Frito scoops and dip it. We always called it Frito dip growing up, but for the sake of this video, I'll go ahead and call it Southwestern style cheese dip. So here's what you need to get started. First thing you wanna to do to get started is get your crock pot plugged in, turn it on warm, put the cat in and get it warmed up. But not really. But for real, you can get your crock pot plugged in and go ahead and turn it on. I'm gonna turn mine on high. Uh, depending on how long you want it to melt, the longer it melts, uh, the more smooth it will be. Also, uh, it depends on how small you cut up the cheese. So I'll probably cut mine pretty small. While that's warming up, we can do everything else. We need some ranch style beans. I don't know if you'll be able to find these everywhere, but if you can't find them, I'm sure you can use chili beans. Although I've never done it that way before. Some Hormel chili, no beans. This is a uh, 15 ounce can. Can of Rotel. This is the mild. You can use spicy if you like. This is a 10 ounce can. You'll need a knife to cut the cheese. Stand back. Got a knife in my hand. And you'll need a bowl. Well, you don't need a bowl because you got the crock pot. You can pour everything into the crock pot. And you'll need a half a block of the big thing of Velveeta, which I've got a leftover piece here. So I'm gonna go over there and cut it out. And I almost forgot, you also need a pint of heavy whipping cream. Before I cut the cheese, I'm gonna go ahead and pour this heavy whipping cream in the crock pot so it can be heating up. All right, so I've cleaned off the counter here and I'm just gonna go ahead and cut the cheese up into squares. But you're probably thinking, what's the big deal? You know, it's probably nothing much different than the Rotel and Velveeta cheese dip that's popular at parties and what have you. But on the contrary, the whipping cream and the chili and the Ranch style beans just adds so much to the flavor. It's just, it's just packed with flavor. Packed with flavor. Packed with flavor. Just adds so much. Like I said, it's one of my favorite meals from growing up. I used to just love this stuff, and I love it every time I eat it, even now. So I'm gonna go ahead and just finish cutting this up in little diced cubes, and then I'll throw them into the crock pot. And I'm just gonna put the cheese right on in there. Now I'm gonna pour the Rotel. The ranch style beans, which they look like kidney beans, just in some kind of ranch sauce. And the Hormel chili, no beans. Then you just give it a good stir. It's kind of gross at first because the heavy whipping cream turns it white. But once the Velveeta starts to melt, it turns a nice cheese color. So at this point, it's just all about the weight. I'll come stir it every once in a while just to make sure it's not sticking to the sides. And then you spoon it over some Fritos or some corn chips. All right. See it? My wife likes to use the scoops and scoop it up. All the meat, beans. But I like to use regular Fritos. And eat it like a soup, like a taco soup or something. That's the way I like to eat it, so I can get all that good stuff on there. It's bursting with flavor. I hope you enjoyed the video. Trust me, you need to make this stuff because it's so good. You will love it, I'm telling you. See you next time. Who wants some cheese dip? Me. Me. Raise your hand if you're sure. All right, here's yours. Here's yours. I know y'all like the scoops. There's some scoops. There's some scoops for you. Is it good? Mm -hmm. Is it good?